Fortnite China was quietly removed by Epic Games, but I feel like a lot of people don't know the real reason it got shut down. Today, I'm finally going to break that down along with 20 of the weirdest things about Fortnite China. And we have to start with number 20, its real name. Because when Fortnite China launched in 2018, people found out that it was a completely different game. It was actually called Fortress Knight in Mandarin. But the first thing people noticed was the new default skins. It looks like Epic wanted to add exclusive extra default styles to appeal to the Chinese audience. But the weird thing is Fortnite China players said that these skins were not actually playable. These defaults would only appear in the lobby, but not in the actual match. And that's just the beginning of the skin changes that we're going to see in Fortnite China. But the good thing is you wouldn't have to be a default for long because V-Bucks were actually free on Fortnite China. Literally, when you log into the game, you get the entire battle pass for free. This is actually because China has a lot of laws against microtransactions in games. This means players never actually spent any money on Fortnite China and there was no support of creator code. And this is a big hint as to why it was shut down. But first, we have to understand how the item shop worked. Well, there were still skins and to get V-Bucks, you had to go through their weekly challenges. You'd have XP challenges, but there was also a way to earn free V-Bucks every single week. For example, in Season 5, Chapter 2, there were bounty quests where you would get 400 V-Bucks every six days. And unlike the scams that you see on TikTok and YouTube Shorts, these were actual free V-Bucks. But when you load into the match is when you'll see that this is a completely different game. So obviously the text is all in Mandarin and some of the UI has even changed, especially the health bars and squads. There's also this very weird text bubble over people's heads, which shows ammo. And I'm not sure what this is. Maybe showing that the person is low on ammo so you, you can just give ammo to your teammates. But this is only the start of the changes because of number 15, Victory Royales. They were completely different in China. Now, obviously, it doesn't say Victory Royale, but if you and your squad are playing out your game, having fun, and make it to end game, the game would just end. Yeah, after 20 minutes, any player still alive would actually get a Victory Royale and literally have to leave the game. No last man or squad standing. There was basically just a timer, and that was it. And that wasn't even the craziest part. Because even before you get to the 20-minute mark, if you're having a good game and getting a ton of kills, you would actually get a little pop-up in the bottom left asking you to leave the match and get a victory royale with all the XP that you would have gotten. The reason they were doing this is because they didn't want the lobbies to be too sweaty, so they would take the sweaty players out of the game and just give them a free victory without even them having to finish out the match. With these changes to wins, I think you can see why there was never an arena mode in Fortnite China or any other LTMs at all. This is again, another big hint as to why Fortnite China got shut down. And another weird thing that almost no one knows about Fortnite China is their trailer. They released one of the strangest commercials where players transition between real life and Fortnite skins, and they even build in real life. Overall, it looked a little cheesy, but I feel like they had a ton of fun filming this. But Fortnite didn't just release Battle Royale in China. They also had big differences in Save the World. The game was published by Tencent in China, and they actually own 40% of Epic Games. And so when they released it, they wanted to adapt the game to appeal to the Chinese audience. One of the major things that is a bit of a taboo in Chinese culture is anything around skulls, the undead, and skeletons. So in Save the World, the husks that have all of their bones showings are actually replaced by these goblin looking things. And honestly, they don't look too bad. But this rule around no skulls would have a huge impact on Fortnite China. One of Fortnite's most popular and iconic skins is literally the Skull Trooper. And people forget just how iconic Skull Trooper was, but because he had a skull, it was removed from Fortnite China after the devs noticed this issue. Not only that, they literally pretend that he doesn't exist. In the last stop loading screen, He's featured, but in Fortnite China, they replace him with the Raven skin. And future skins like Skull Ranger, Zombie Peely were just never added, but they would also change skins completely. For example, the Crack Shot received a black edit style with a white skull on his face. Well, in Fortnite China, they just actually change his skin to have a normal white face. He kind of looks like a bird. And in the season eight battle pass, we got the Black Heart skin. And he's not exactly memorable, but the last edit style was like this sick pirate skeleton. And that just wouldn't fly at all in Fortnite China. So they completely removed his head. They also changed his rib cage so there isn't any bone showing. And basically, it's a completely different skin. 
Should Epic release these one day? I honestly think they would be really cool edit styles. And that wouldn't be the last. In the Season X Battle Pass, we got the Eternal Voyager skin. His entire head is a skull. And Fortnite China can't just remove Battle Pass skins from the game, so they had to change him. They gave him a completely different look with more of a futuristic space helmet, and it still fits, but it's crazy that they had to completely remodel him to make him work in China. And the same thing happened when Epic dropped the Taskmaster skin. Obviously, Marvel collabs are a huge deal, and Marvel is actually pretty big with the Chinese audience. So when Taskmaster was dropped, again, his face is a skull, Epic changed him to be wearing a different mask that he actually sometimes wears in the comics. But that leads us to by far the weirdest Fortnite China cosmetic, and it's with another Marvel skin. In Chapter 2 Season 4, Mystique's back bling is literally a golden skull, and there's no way they could change it, right? Well, they just made it into a golden ball. And the funny thing is that when you use her built-in emote, it was still a skull. So I don't know what the point of that was. But what if I told you Fortnite China got some exclusive cosmetics? Fans in 2018 were going crazy trying to get their hands on Insignia and Penguin backblings, which were only unlockable on Fortnite China and were never available outside of it. They also released two exclusive pickaxes and the only way these were usable were in tournament versions of the game where all the skins were unlocked and we saw that in the summer skirmish. The other weird thing about Fortnite China is there would be a warning message if you played too long. China restricts how long people under 18 can play Fortnite. So after three hours, you would get a message saying that your XP has been cut in half and that challenges have been disabled forcing people to take a break and focus on their rest or study. I see where they're coming from, but if I lived in China, I would be getting in trouble every single day when I hopped on. And another huge change in Fortnite China is that you do not take storm damage. Instead, you have a second health bar called your battery life. And when your battery gets to zero, you automatically die. This is because they thought that dying in a toxic storm was a little too violent for Chinese audiences. But I guess getting blasted with an RPG is not violent. I don't know. But now let's finally address why Fortnite China got shut down. But to explain why, we have a special message from Nick A30. You need to be grateful because in some countries, like even for China, like China, like they don't have Fortnite. That's right, guys. We have to be grateful because when Fortnite China was shut down, they actually deleted every single player's account and data. Fortnite content creators and players in China were asking for their accounts to be transferred over, but unfortunately, that was not possible and they are 100% gone. The Chinese government policies on video games got even stricter. Kids weren't allowed to play as many hours per week, players had restrictions on microtransactions, and so much more. So in November 2021, Epic made the tough decision to shut down Fortnite China. The fact is, guys, Fortnite just never really caught on in China. The gameplay wasn't fun without Victory Royales, players would just play for the quests and free V-Bucks, and Epic literally wasn't making money. Since you couldn't buy V-Bucks, Fortnite China just wasn't profitable. And now, Fortnite China is gone. Forever. But its player base and uniqueness will live on. Thank you guys so much for watching, and check out this video I made about Fearless's disappearance.